Yo, Visanta here. So recently, for Pokemon Unite, there was a Japan-only beta. And all you need is, of course, your Nintendo Switch and a Japanese Nintendo account. So I made one, and since I do pick up things rather quickly, here are some tips from me that I learned from playing the beta. But first, what is Pokemon Unite, right? Pokemon Unite is a mobile game, uh, kind of a tug-of-war kind of game where you try to get as many points as you can by collecting these special Pokeballs that you get from defeating enemy Pokemon and the one the neutral Pokemon that are like on the map. And then dunking those balls into the basket of the other team's basket. Not your basket, but the other team's basket. And with that, there's various Pokemon that you can choose from. Some are DPS, some are tanks, some are support, some are assassin. But here's the chart that was categorized based on what the game has listed them. Uh, so you can just check that out here. I'll probably have a link to it down below, maybe. Uh, but it is on Reddit. I did post it there. Uh, and type matching does not exist in this game. It's just raw damage and numbers. Um, and when you do level up, you unlock uh, moves, right? And then they actually give you a choice, like one or the other. So you can pick two to choose from. So depending on what you do, it's pretty much time where you like your build. <laughs> All right, so there are three important currencies, the AOS coin, the AOS tickets, and then the gem. The AOS coin is what you get from battles. You usually use them to buy items and characters mostly. Uh, AOS tickets is what you use to buy upgrade metal that you can use to upgrade your held items. And gems is the premium currency that you can get from events or using real money. And here comes tip number one, right? Remember to equip your items because items are important. You can equip them by checking one of the options of the main menu or while you're picking your Pokemon, hit like ZL and then you can equip it on from there. Uh, you can buy more items in the, in the shop, which is the, the second tab of the clothing section of the shop. And once you get your item, you can also level them up, up to level 30. Uh, starting at level nine, you can start leveling them. So you get those upgrade medals that you use from the tickets to upgrade your held items. <laughs> All right, the next tip is to learn the mechanics to move around the map. So there are these platforms that are like kind of in the middle, but it's on like either the left side or right side, depending on where you're at, more over there. Um, they actually can launch you into over the wall into the middle part of the area. And also if you hold down the down on a D-pad, you can teleport back to your home base. And that's helpful if you just finish a battle and you're super low on life, right? Getting back to home base will heal your HP a lot faster to full. And just like dunking into the basket while you're trying to do these actions, if you get attacked, it will cancel it. So be careful. Next, we have these special Pokemon that are inside like the jungle area, which if you uh, defeat them, you gives you a buff. Uh, a red one is kind of responding to more of an attacking buff, and then the blue one kind of responds to a more defensive buff. Sometimes they have a mix of both. Uh, so keep an eye on that. There are even more special Pokemon that spawn on the map. The Rotom on the top middle, if you KO it, it will slowly approach the enemy's basket, and then if it touches the basket, it will give the team the instant dunk for a few seconds on that basket. Uh, the enemy can still stop it though by attacking it and then knocking it out. And then on the bottom middle, there's a Dreadnought. If you store it, your team will get shields for a while. And now, if there's two minutes left, Zapdos will spawn in the middle. And whoever team KOs it, all the enemies bastards will become instant dunk for points for a few seconds. Um, and if you didn't know, in the last two minutes, all points are double when you dunk them. Now, these are more like kind of like the habit kind of tips and stuff like that. Uh, in the beginning, once you get to the center of either top lane or bottom lane after you're like hitting Pokemon along the way, try to aim for the center Pokemon first so you can um, take out, you get that extra EXP and then you go back to your side because it's easier to defend from that side, right? And then you can get that extra kill, right? Um, and whenever you can, always try to gang up on the enemy and outnumber them. Uh, the baskets uh, give healing and shield to the enemy and it, applies, it also applies to you when you're in your basket. So unless you're very confident, try not to gauge them while they're in there, uh, by the way. And now I do see this kind of often, but if you are getting killed in your lane or like your enemy is higher level than you, don't be afraid to like sacrifice the basket and then go farm mobs in either the jungle or the side to level up so you can come back stronger than ever. Sometimes you do have to play it safe because otherwise you can keep getting killed and then you're just wasting time right when you're dead. Or I do see this kind of often sometimes, but when you're first exiting 
um, and then you're going your own separate ways. Try not to hit the same mobs too often of your teammates, because then you're you're sapping them of your your exp and etc. And try not to kill steal your teammates, uh, because uh, <laughs> they're trying to level up, and then you're just taking it from them. Uh, you, you work as a team, guys. Work as a team. <laughs> All right. So while you may be sacrificing uh, the basket, you still gotta make an illusion that you're kind of still there. So you want to keep applying pressure, like probably just walk back to that area, do like a, a couple like turns and then walk away just to keep the illusion that you're still like kind of there. Because if, if they know that you're not there, obviously you're going to hit it, right? But if you put the illusion that you're still there, they might be very cautious of where you're at. Um, so apply pressure all the time, no matter where you are. All right, next tip. Sometimes it can congest it in one lane, like the enemy's pushing, and then maybe there's the like four pushing, and then maybe someone jungling over there. Um, that gives you the opportunity to get in some secret dunks, so you can like just sneak your way in and just like just dunk on their basket and then leave before they quickly realize and come and get you. Or you can like push in, get some mobs on the bottom where it's like the shared area, get some extra kills, then you can go back to your area to get some those kills. Because of course, when you're on your side, it's a lot easier to defend. Um, and not but not least, make sure to look at your mini-map. Uh, make a habit of looking at your mini-map. You not only can you see your teammates, but you can also see the enemies that your teammates are engaging. So you kind of like picture know where they are. And also, if you didn't notice, uh, the neutral Pokemon are actually marked as yellow on the mini-map. So you can actually see all the neutral Pokemon on the map, on the enemy side and your side. So you can kind of picture like, oh, that yellow spot disappeared. There might be someone over there. Right, especially since you don't see your teammates over there. Uh, but yeah, hopefully you guys enjoy all those kind of quick tips uh, for getting started, just or get, you know, just trying to get better at Pokemon Unite. These are the things I learned during the beta, and I'll pop, I'll be for sure streaming it because I really enjoy the game. Uh, I I main Monchamp, Lucara, and Cinderace. I have multiples, so I can like switch off in case someone wants to play one or the other. But yeah, hopefully I'll see you guys when the game release on Twitch.tv/slash Vincente. And with that, later days.